There were about a hundred who attended the Made in Food Safety and Nutrition Workshop organized by the non-for-profit organization Wholesome Health Promotion, popularly known as WHP. At the Etah Palace Hall, situated at the foot of Mount Cameroon in Boya, the participants were schooled on the importance of properly handling food in a hygienic condition and why they ought to consume organic food. After that, we identified common food hazards and how to avoid them. After which, we explained how to handle and prepare food safely or when serving at restaurants or local markets. To many, the WHP Food Safety and Nutrition Workshop was not only rich in content, but was the program they long waited for. Great was their satisfaction. So Wholesome Health Promotion has come to shed light on food safety and hygiene, which I find very, very, very important in our business today because people tend to eat roadside food and even in restaurants and the hygienic conditions are not that good, they're not up to standards. So in my restaurant, I try to go with fresh food directly from the market. And most of the times, I own a little garden that I get my fresh food from. And I make sure I don't deal with too much chemicals because food that contains chemicals in the long run has a toll on our health. People tend to eat too much canned food and imported food. Why keeping back what we have here in Africa and in Cameroon, we are very rich with fresh products. So from this uh, workshop, we've learned how to use what we get from the market and how to preserve our food, maybe in the freezer, maybe how to dry, or the temperature you use when cooking food. Because people tend to overcook food or undercook, and that causes a lot of health hazards. Some of us have been like, we need something to boost up our business, but who is that one person that needs to come up with another idea and our own business follows. What I learned from this workshop is to able to take care of your food. It's not an it's not something expensive like most of us will think and you need not look like people from Western countries for it to be good and healthy for you. You need to see what you have around you and find solutions from it. I'm a student and I am a consumer and I'm very interested in this workshop because I hope to be able to run a food delivery service in future. The participants were also given a chance to propose solutions to the problems of food safety and nutrition in their localities. The solutions we propose, we, we propose the government employ sanitary inspectors to pass by the, the market and say by weekly basis and check up, do quality control because they are actually companies who take charge of waste disposal because one problem, one problem we came out with was the problem of improper waste disposal. So they are actually companies to take care of that but there is nobody to do quality control. So we propose um, sanitary inspectors to pass by on a bi-weekly basis and carry out the sanitary inspections. Also we propose infrastructure should be put up because another problem we identified is the problem of inadequate infrastructure which comes with positioning you have people who are selling fish they're selling it under the hot sun it causes the fish to rot faster consumers come and they buy this fish even if you prepare it well in as much as you already bought bad food there's nothing you can do from that point also we propose sensitization like before a, someone is given a license to sell in the market the people should pass through a training because if they don't, then they'll be ignorant of these things. Because you have the situations of people who sell food in the market and they fry this food in the same oil multiple times. They continually use this oil. This oil is now carcinogenic. They are not aware of this. Most of them, they are not aware of this. After a common meal with the WHP team on site, end of training certificates were handed to the participants by the non-for-profit organization staff that expressed its satisfaction for their first edition of the workshop. Our first goal has been met in the sense that we have mobilized uh, almost 40 people in this particular hall and that's the first objective. But now what we want to create is impact in the minds of people and you can't create impact without knowledge so we bring to them knowledge by sensitizing them in turn they'll go and sensitize others. But this is the beginning of several or a series of programs that we're going to put in place to touch the rural uh, you know the rural communities and the underprivileged communities you know personally we're going to go down to the field because we before doing this we went to the markets we did the uh, documentary we touched the reality we came back to inform people that this is what is going on we called for members of the government we have people from the delegation of agriculture we have consumers we have university students who are actually reading this as a course 
couple of people. So we are actually brainstorming. It's not like we are just down talking on people. We we'll share our idea and our own research and we call them for they have been doing research. So we share an idea with the workshop. Actually, many of them are proposing great ideas. We have the capacity to meet stakeholders, to meet administrative personalities. So we're going to channel these ideas to the right authorities and make sure that it's not just empty talk, but it's accompanied by concrete action. So that's our first goal. We're meeting with the people. Ideas are popping out. We're jotting the right the, the, the ideas. We're going to do a selection and then channel it to the right authorities. Then we take it back to the fields. This has been awesome. Okay, first of all, I love the mix. Don't you think this is good? You know, usually most workshops or symposiums, you have members of government and, you know, a lot of elderly people, and that's it. Or people from international organizations and a few others, and that's it. Here we have the presence of a lot of students, a lot of people who just have little businesses, like the restaurant owner who is very proud of you know, his restaurant, I love the way he was passionate about the kind of food, you know, that you have women who are, you know, in the inform informal mar market sector, you know, buy and sell arms, women who sell food themselves, who are coming to learn about how they can, you know, better present their, their, their foodstuffs, you know, in the market. We have members of, you know, government, like, you know, uh, some, some council members. We have, like, there was somebody who just blew me up when he was talking about the effect of chemicals, the kind of you know, pesticides that we use, you know, at times that also get into our food and eventually we ingest all of this. We may think that the food is well presented too, but you remember we're saying it's from the farm to the market to the plate. So the food may be well presented in the market or well presented on the plates in that restaurant, but if at origin in the farm it was full of pesticides, you're still going to ingest all of this and that's how you get your cancer and everything. So he managed to break out of that chain just to remind us it's not just about the market. It's just not about, you know, that is important, but how about the farm? So with that, we get a real wholesome process. Now we're seeing everything come together. That's what I've really enjoyed about the participants here. It's a good mix. Everybody's in really, really involved. Everybody's bringing up ideas. I really enjoyed this. I learned a lot. But the problem of food safety is of worldwide concern. According to recent statistics, about 600 million people around the world fall sick every year because of contaminated food. Africa holds the highest percentage of these shocking figures and Cameroon in particular is highly concerned. In Cameroon, diarrhea, which is a foodborne disease, is the third killer disease according to statistics. No doubt, since the state of our markets and the poor management of food in public places most especially speak volumes. Created in January 2017 by Teres Tande, WHP Wholesome Health Promotion has its mission to promote general wellness and provide nutrition and health education in rural areas and underprivileged communities. Wholesome Health Promotion is a non-for-profit organization whose goal is to encourage people in rural and marginalized communities in the Republic of Cameroon to live an active and healthy lifestyle thereby preventing lifestyle diseases such as diabetes and many more. Worthy of note, the lifestyle factors such as poor diet and a lack of regular physical activity that have given rise to a multitude of chronic diseases across Africa are modifiable through behavioral and environmental changes. Hence, 
WHP has come to awaken us to the consciousness that change begins with us in our environment. We are the change we want to see.